Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to make authenticated requests by sending authorization headers. So the header is a HTTP header that gets sent because you have, you know, a HTTP request, which is what we are making here. And then what we get back, which is this information is the HTTP response. And maybe on the server side, because the client always makes the request, the server side always gives the response back where it's successful response with some data like the body for example or whether it's essentially saying you know, something gone wrong and then we fail as well so server always sends the response if we want to be able to you know authenticate this we could have a http header send some information to the server which will detect what we've got in the header or maybe it's just to see you know exactly what information we need and based on that it'll you know give it back to us obviously you can take care of HTTP headers you know the way you want to on your server in PHP in Ruby in Python doesn't really matter but this video is about how to actually send the HTTP header it's actually really simple so you just put import dot and we need the IO class and now part of the get request we'll put it on several lines just so it's easy to see we need a comma and what we want to do is here we want to put headers uh, i don't like the way that was there i just didn't like where that was formatted so we are going to put headers http headers dot so there's different types of headers that you can you know put here so i'm going to put the authorization header and you can put some sort of you know basic api token right so and that's really all there is to it obviously on our end that won't change the response depending on your website what you do is totally up to you if you want to see any headers that have come through you know on that particular website to just go to network reload website go to any of the resources go to headers and there we go and that is it for you know making authenticated requests using authorization headers if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message i'm also going to link another video with this tutorial which explains http headers a bit more so it's a youtube video from a you know i think it's from the udacity channel that you can check out and yeah, so if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.